Good afternoon, guys. So um, we are continuing our work with expressions. I know that's been the big focus of this week. Um, today, we're really going to focus on what the book calls adding and subtracting algebraic expressions. Okay. I like to, you know how I like this word. I'm talking about combining. Um, and in our last video, we talked a little bit about you can only combine like terms. But when we talked about um, integers earlier this year, we were talking about combining positive and negative numbers. We talked that about that as well, of not focusing too much on the word add or on the word subtract, but what can we combine? What are we putting together? So if you remember from our last video, we had an expression. Okay, it's a word, it's a numerical phrase or an algebraic phrase. In this particular expression, two is a coefficient. Okay, review of things that we learned very beginning of sixth grade. Okay, x and y are both variables. And by variable, we mean a symbol or a letter that stands in for a value that varies. It can change. And once we start solving equations, our goal is going to be, can we find the value of that variable in that situation? Okay. And then three, or in this case, actually negative three is a constant. It has no variable with it. It's just a number and negative three is negative three is negative three all day long. I can't change it. So it's a constant. That's the difference between varying and being consistent. Now, in order to add an expression, we need to combine like terms. So we have this expression, negative five X plus four, and we have this expression, 11 X minus nine. The parentheses are not really necessary. They were put there to show us that we're combining two expressions, but they're not really necessary. So what we're going to do, and I should have given myself more space, um, is we're going to rewrite this. So I'm going to do it over to the side without parentheses. Negative 5x plus 4 plus 11x minus nine. Now notice every single thing just keeps the sign that was with it. Now we want to point out some like terms. If you remember from our previous video, I looked at the idea of like terms. Negative five X is like 11 X. They both have X to the first power. So they're like terms. Four and negative nine are like terms, honestly, because they're both constants. They have no variable. So what I'm going to do now, and this is a step that you will likely outgrow, but when you're really tired, I don't care if you are a graduate student, if you're 25, if you're going to be a PhD, there are going to be days when you are so tired and you have to solve some mathematical something. Go back to the baby steps. When you're tired, when you're feeling overwhelmed, these little steps really help with accuracy. So I'm going to put the like terms together. And I can do this. See, nobody changed their value. I just rearranged. I can do this because of commutative property. Remember that one? Oh, nice way to review is when we're actually using it. So these are like terms and these are like terms. All right, now you are going to learn something Another weird thing about your teacher. I like for the variables to stand for objects. They help our brain between the abstract and the concrete. So if I am missing five Oreos 
they were on the plate, but my sister came through. And then I'm given 11 Oreos because I took them out of the package. Okay. How many Oreos are now there? Negative five, positive 11, six Oreos. And I do not know why I use Oreos for X. I think it's Mr. Bo's fault. Um, but that's where I got that number. Now, if I have four and a negative nine, I have more negatives than positives. So that's negative five. All we're doing when we add expressions is simplifying by combining like terms so that you have less of a mess. Okay, so let's try another one. To quote unquote subtract expressions, first we're going to distribute this negative symbol. Okay, it, anytime you have a negative sign in front of parentheses, it affects everything inside the parentheses. It's saying the opposite of this and the opposite of that. So I'm going to copy this down. X plus 4. Well, the opposite of 2 is negative 2. The opposite of negative 7X is positive 7X. So now I simplified this just by removing parentheses and distributing that negative sign. Okay, and you can even put the little boing boing symbol for that I use the distributive property. Now, once again, I'm going to mark my like terms. Oreo or Oreos. Constant, constant. You will notice that I use color. You do not have to. But it is one of those things that helps you not to miss pieces. Okay. So I distributed. Okay. And now I'm going to rearrange. I'm going to use commutative property again. Okay. So x plus 7x, because the symbol comes with it, plus 4 minus 2. Oh, look how easy it is when they're next to each other. Okay, so I have an Oreo and seven Oreos. That's eight Oreos. Four and negative two. More positives. So that's two. Okay. Now I'm going to give you one more example because it combines a couple of things. And I think that it would be helpful to you before you do your try problems. So this one is, I'm just going to write right here, extra five times the quantity R plus one plus negative eight R plus two. So the first thing I see is that I have something to distribute here just to clean it up. Because if I'm going to combine like terms, I want to have each term as simple and compact as I can. So I'm going to use distributive property to distribute this 5. 5R plus 5. Now, since I have a positive symbol here. That means that everything inside the parentheses remains the same. So negative 8R, because it didn't change, positive 2. Oh my gosh, that already looks way better, right? So 
I have five rabbits. I have negative eight rabbits. Ooh, that's a problem. Five and two. Once again, I'm going to rearrange. 5r minus 8r plus 5 plus 2. There's my constants. There's my rabbits. If I have a positive 5 and a negative 8, I am missing three rabbits. That is a problem. If I have a positive 5 and a positive 2, that's 7. Okay, so hopefully this helps. It's kind of bringing together what we did at the beginning of the week, combining some like terms. I really do not want you to get too hung up on adding or subtracting. I really want you to work on that we are just combining. And if there's a negative symbol, distribute it and then just combine. Combining like terms is critical in solving equations. Um, in future years, when the, comp when the equations get bigger, if you try to combine something with something else that's not a like term, it will mess up your equation. So we're really, really going to focus on this. Um, and if you just think about it, you can't combine things that aren't alike. You can't count those in the same calculation. So have a great afternoon. Do your try problems. I can't wait to see you in class.